everyone. My name is Funega. I'm here to represent Black on Purpose. We are in Soweto, the 18th annual uh, Soweto Pride March. So we're here to interview one or two people. We want to get their views, their experiences as people belonging to this LGBT community. So please follow me. Okay, my name is Michael Butelezi. I'm, I'm a queer body. My pronouns are he, him, his. Um, I'm a bit student during my second year in accounting. Yes. From a child, I think I, I always had that element of queerness in me growing up. So it made it very easier for my parents to understand and adapt and to know who I am and to easily accept. Although growing up um, in the community, there were remarks made by neighbors and everyone uh, saying, oh, using uh, names that are, that are very derogatory, such as oh, Istaban and all of that, which I, uh, my parents fought against. Like, they were very supportive from the get go. So, I had a very supportive family, which I love the most about that. I want to have advice to parents. I have something that I wish could be um, incorporated in our system of education. We don't teach uh, people in high school and primary school about queerness and we need more of such programs from the little ones because once we install such from their growing up, it becomes easier for them to understand themselves and who they are. Hi, my name is Fundi, Fundi Ndaba. I identi identify myself as a she, her. Well, occasionally them, but I am a she and a her. So I want to share this so that you appreciate my story. I was married. I have two kids. This is my second daughter. Ah, wow. And uh, I, I got divorced. And I, I, I learned of my identity in Europe. It was a quick trip, but when I came back, I had a, a reality that says, what, 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 why would I be attracted to a woman? Okay. The first person that I came out with, two, was my ex-husband. And the question was, I've always known, why didn't you tell me? Uh, do my parents know of my sexuality? I'm thankful that I, I learned of my sexuality much later in my life because I didn't need their validation to who I am. Does it matter? Uh, I have a, a, an enriched life with or without me being exposed of my sexuality, if you know what I mean. And, and the reason I'm saying that is, uh, perhaps to give you a background, my parents are Jehovah's Witnesses. So when my daughter asked about what would you do if one of your children is gay, Mom said that I'll have to disown her. That's, that's the reality of the religion. And I don't want to be disowned. I love my mom. <laughs> so okay. I don't have to tell her that I'm gay. Does it matter that she doesn't know? I think I'm lucky to have a philosophy of understanding that we all came into this world for different paths and experiences. My mum my might never accept my journey, but it is what it is. When I left home today, I was also thinking, I'm very lucky and privileged person to have been in a space where I don't need to validate myself. Anyone who comes from spaces where they look at you bad, they look at you and throw stones at you, they look at you, it, it, it is their reality. I've never had to validate that, but it happens. And I think the reason we work in the space that we do is to probably try and correct, create conversations, and have a space that says, let's walk past with you, rather than uh, either keeping quiet or having alternative means. So my privilege is used to change the experiences and to have the conversations that I'm having with you today. And thank you for allowing me to share a rhetoric conversation. <laughs> thank you.
Hey people, I see that there is a poor palat here in our midst. We want to see if we can just get a word or two from her. She's here to support black people, black on papers, baby. Wish me luck. Of course I know you. Maybe other people do not know you. Introduce yourself and what's your role here? Let's take it from there. Well, I'm Paul Palate. I'm the executive mayor of the city of Johannesburg. I'm here to lend support to the LGBTIQA plus community. I need them to know that the city sees them, that we are for them and that we support them and that we are to walk their journey with them. Do you have any words in terms of them feeling free to be who they are, who they identify themselves as? I think the greatest injustice is to have to explain yourself or to defend who you are to everybody around you. And I'm quite moved by um, one of the organizations here where we've got mothers all the way from the Eastern Cape even, who have come out in support of children who don't have motherly support, who don't have parental support. They're here to give a hug. They're here to say, we accept you. If you've been rejected by your family, we're here to support you. I think that's what people need is acceptance. Of course, um, you know, being different is not easy and people don't always understand people who are different. Um, I believe that people need to reach out, they need to speak out. We've got social workers in our clinics. We've got 78 primary health care facilities in the city. And through our clinics, you can access social workers who can talk to you, advise you, help you cope and help you adapt where you need to adapt. The city of Johannesburg is also transforming internally to be more supportive of, of the LGBTIQ plus community. For the first time in the history of the city, we actually had an integrated development planning stakeholder engagement that was targeted towards this community. Oh, wow. Because we realized that when they come to our IDP consultative sessions, their issues get swallowed up in service delivery issues. And we wanted to talk to them on their own so that we can elevate their issues and understand their struggles in the city and understand better how we can better provide a support mechanism as a city. It's their right to be who they are and we need to support them, we need to love them, we need to celebrate them and we need to protect them. Uh, my name is Sipoga Zinombande. I'm from Forum for the Empowerment of Women. So Weto Pride is one of our projects. So I'm the event organizer. So as the organization, we feel it's important to organize Soweto Pride. Soweto Pride is classified as a community pride because we are inclusive. We cater for black people, especially, but also I'm not saying we are not catering for white people, but it is predominantly black. And we are encouraging different communities to host their small community pride. Because for us, we use Soweto Pride as an advocacy tool to communicate to... Hey, English is yeah, but like a to, 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 to sensitize our communities about the LGBTI people because we are part of the communities. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. And what do you identify yourself maybe as in the LGBTQ community? I identify as a lesbian. Okay. And uh, how old were you when you discovered that you actually preferred or you feel or you are a lesbian? I've been a lesbian all my life. So I've only discovered that I'm gay or at least attracted to women when I was doing the trick. That was 32 years ago. Oh wow. Okay. And no, how no, no, not 32, maybe like 22 years ago. All right, that's great. And then how did your parents take the news? Well, my family, they were very supportive. They still are. At first it was a shock because I come from a small town. So being a lesbian is taboo there. But at least they accepted me. Oh, we're thankful that at least they did accept. And just one last question. Um, what advice do you have to ask black people, black parents, based on your experience and based on what you have seen as well uh, as a person belonging to this ex uh, community? So my, advi my advice would be uh, we need to sensitize our parents because our parents, sometimes it's not as if they don't want to accept us, but sometimes it's because they don't have the knowledge. 
So there are organizations who are doing that work to make sure that our parents are sensitized. Oh, and that's great. That was a cool one. Thank you so very much. As you say that you are exhausted and all, we will let you go and relax. And thank you so very much for your time and for the event, as well as for everything that you are busy with. All the best. Thank you so much. And thank you for having me. My name is Linda Maegiso. I identify myself as an elder within the LGBTQI plus communication. I am originally from Guazulu Natal and I am here representing the LGBTQI plus roundtable, which is an NPO that creates inclusive spaces for the LGBTIQ plus community in the workplace. Um, what basically we do is we work with corporate, both private and um, public sectors in terms of transforming the key three imperatives in a workplace, which would be the policy transformation, the economic transformation, as well as the social um, transformation. We work with huge, both small SMMEs and big corporates in terms of how do you create an inclusive space and a diverse and inclusive space for queer people so that they can be able to strive and bring their whole selves to the workplace. Hi, my name is Sibone Lungana Natrawa and I am employed by OUT LGBTI Wellbeing. Uh, OUT is an LGBTI organization which was formed in 1990 and has been responsible for quite a few um, advocacy work such as the Civil Union Act and so on. Uh, so that is Sponelo and I'm based in Port Elizabeth uh, in the Eastern Cape. Uh, but a bit about Sponelo, I'm a, I'm a human rights activist. Um, and in my human rights activist, I do a lot of work with the queer community as well. Um, yeah, which because I'm queer, so it, it, it's where I feel I need to also plow in. So I'm based in the Eastern Cape, meaning that it's rural, meaning that we might not have um, things like this. And we look forward that one day South Africa could have things like this in Lusigi Sigi, Pizane, places like Mount Fletcher and so on, where the queer community really does not have a space to express themselves like it, they express themselves in Soweto. But I hope and I, I see it, it, this is growing, so I'm hoping the same will happen uh, in Epumankolun at one time, yeah. Uh, my name is Eugene Morake van Steden, situated um, in Zone 5 Middlelands in Soweto. I identify myself as a queer person, as a gay, as a gay son. Not as a gay son, it's like, okay, fine, because I'm speaking, because I'm with my mom. Okay, the experience that I, whenever I got, um, I came out of the closet. Firstly, I never been in a closet. So it was fortunate that I did get the support mostly from my mom and my siblings and my dad also. So he couldn't make it. So the support and the love, it starts from home, obviously. So it will reflect back out of the community. So my mom made a welcoming party for me whenever she discovered that I'm different because she knew about my sexuality, you know. At home, they will start stabani, calling you Susan, those kind of names. But whenever my mom realized that my child is so different, but nothing changed, to be quite honest. She's been that supportive mom. I don't identify my, myself as a gay son. I identify myself as Eugene, you understand? As hence my, my mom, she doesn't say I've got like a gay son. She say I've got a son. And for the love and the support that I get from my mom is mostly uh, so amazing. I don't know what to say. So. And again, I'm married at Shwani and... Congratulations, where's the partner? Can we bring the partner to the party? <laughs> so actually due to, uh, we got married, so actually to the pandemic, so we couldn't get married, uh, a proper wedding and so, but now he's at work, yeah, so, but later on I will be with him. Wow, that's beautiful, okay. Thank you so much for all the information on you and everything. And as I said, anyone can answer their experience and anything. So, Tinangoma, 
Okay. Do you have any question? Adopted children. Do you have any <laughs> any answers? Anything to add based on your own experience, your own journey, and anything else? Doesn't have to be a lot. If there is nothing, it's still fine. Okay. First of all, my name is Ayanda. I am from Tiltuf, and I identify myself as a bottom, a gay who sleeps with other men, and. I was born like this. I never change or be someone else who is not. And I'm happy where I am now. My journey was not easy when I grew up, first of all. It was not easy. I've been called names, but I know who I am and I know what I want and I know where I am going. So I, I always stick on that thing of what I want and where I am going. Even now, some other people, they don't understand. But I think in South Africa, we are still getting there to make other people to learn who is gay and what's happening in that relationship and in that area. So I'm, I'm happy I'm okay with that. Maybe a word of advice uh, for people of your age. Anything you'd like to say? Maybe we're feeling in the closet maybe yeah. or discriminated, hated. You know, there's so much high levels of suicide, depression and everything yeah. because of that. Do you have anything, a word of encouragement? Only thing I can say is love yourself. Have a self-confidence. Mm -hmm. Know who you are mm -hmm. and follow your feelings. Mm -hmm. Put your, yourself first before someone else. Be happy before you can make someone else happy. That's very wise. <laughs> My favorite. Ah, so I'm your favorite now. Um, my name is Chando. Um, many call me as Nz, Nol Chando Masibogo, and I identify as a lesbian woman. I'm in love with same sex, obviously. Um, coming out was never an issue. I never came out, but my family just saw it from the get-go. Even though amongst family members it was, was a bit tricky and whatsoever. But I'm very thankful for parents like Miss Mary Moroke, which uh, they helped us to come out in the community to say, if my son is like this, you are also my child. I was never an outsider whenever I went to Enkuna Street. That's where she, she, she resides. So today I'm not with my mother to share this opportunity with. May her soul rest in peace. But I'm very grateful that I have an opportunity to share my story with a woman as brave as her. So. May she live long for us so that many parents can know and accept So from me for being my friend because him being my friend made me me to own my Mary. So big ups. Uh, Sister Sakona, we are still here and we are existing forever. My Mary to you. Many more years. <laughs> there are some places. And as I said, actually, it was a blessing for you guys to come our way, says Hamba. And black woman, that's a South Africa. Mary Muroke. I'm 66 years old. <sighs> I don't know where to start. Because when a mama, who always go to umtana maga puma, uzo puma go umfan, maraksasa, umtana actually go to mama into a so. When a mama, who finally uzbuze before u ansari. Nimbuzum tana miti into enje on chela yona hi nim tana mati mi mama nito eso so angaz or uzong kosha nam tanje or uzoin zagan chan. Nati we yuchin um tanam kalutu kale laitu zaninam. Funugut um kazisilega tibuti hi ni lento on chela yona yobuke ang yaz because tina skulela sikule lento lena singa yaz. Mati mi mama gusti imizwayam. I phone umuntu esfazan. And before that thing in Chela Ganja, we need to be a Uchino. Why was in a time maybe so kosh? Umiti silem tanam atima. I'm not there. Angna mizo yum fazi. Jungobani chel wuti. Niki. 
ngathi kuyimntana nami sihlala tuzane nami ngifuna ukukhuluma kahle nawo ngikuzwe kahle ngempela uye wangiphendula angikhalanga ngikhalele ngaphakathi ese mother ngathathi iphone ngafonile lobabakhi ubabakhi bebephuza utywala lapho uzakhona uthe ma kangena ngathi baba ngine nkinga 1 2 3 1 2 3 what in and so nami uYugene uzori mina kuYugene there's nothing i can do and i never ngim change sithathe imoto saya ezon 7 ekhaya kumamama umamam abogogo la bakudala wathi imatha hayi meri ungabile lengwana wamini mina sibona ekhaya kuYugene i gay malumo wa wena wa so 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 wa ngitiba ngathi kuye eh athi kimi utekelele yena nala ka muroga bakona yeah ene mina ngomama wa magay na ma lesbian emzini wam bebathi ma babuya la babuya khona bayi 15 ni room laka Eugene i think is ingaka so bazolala lapho ene be ngomunye umuntu mangazi ukuthi abekho ngimthenga i 5 kg yeye lenti bright pack angikhuluma manga nangu umuntu ozongifakazela ngizovuka extend for road clock ngipheke ngipheke manje ngithethe ukupheka ngipheka ne papa ngithambani nokuphupha amazinyo ngiyesi anizanga nama Colgate yenu bagezi ma bacedu ukwenza lokho bathathi ngithi hlala ni phansi omunye nomunye ngimnike e plate ngithi ngifuna ukuthi mawufika kini mama kubisa utshele umama akho oro baba akho ukuthi beze la kimi ukuthi bawulale la kimi as long as us safe from lelo langa lelo ngomama wama gay langihamba khona wow hey bambalo abantu abanje ngawe ma masibonke kakhulu Jadi log tu ina. I advice orang ini kerja banyak macam kos. Abang kau bapa nanau. Bapa kau nak panjat. Ni ni word of advice orang banyak kerja. Bazali into engzo banyak ayana. Mau stand awen a self film zali. Mau tela manzo ukeza. Ta angin tu stand awu ya kerja ngamans. Jom umta no umta nak ku es umam. Uba ba agana agana king. Inking a ino mam. What who was I love umtu an? O fani lo usali pants no baba. Oti baba umta na milona. O he gay no matter what. He gay lesbian or he ni transgender whatever. Fani lo mumugele umta na ko umta ande umnige umta ando. And anyege ayo 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 ba uma kosh. Umta na ko fani lo ngene pacheti ni ako umnige whatever. No mga umnige i fifty rand. It's a lot of money. Umta na kanyege a kosh. Abantu an abaya kosh a dropping. And especially I'm gay, I'm lesbian. Ni akala etropen mangu na umtanwe gay. I answer is into experiment then because manimbuza ati gimi mama eka ya abang mugeed. Naman. So umtana ko fanya lumtand. I'm very very happy today because in share a story lesi. Gam nandi and I'm proud myself. Me na owa umtana na ngu yuchin. Today ushati. Hallelujah. Maspong. Mas bonga manga bonga kalkulu. Jom umsal. As I said, umsal in our midst, it's a blessing. Aku begun kunkulak tin. Uchi lusis. Wati pick up to my Mary many more years. Nam di chogun chalo. When zagan chalo na wabanyo ma. Kunga pele the straten sa kopele ne. Wow, that is beautiful. Hey, kaya bonga kaya bonga kaya bonga kalkulu bobo.